In this video, we're going to be taking a look at using gRPC for service-to-service -service communication in Node.js using TypeScript. We're going to be looking at setting up both a client and a server implementation and generating the TypeScript from the gRPC protocol buffer files. By doing this, we're going to get to use many of the advanced features that TypeScript has to offer over JavaScript. It'll be easier to catch errors, write code quickly, and refactor confidently. I've added a link to the GitHub repository in the description if you just would like to take a look at the code. Anyways, without further ado, here's how to achieve perfect TypeScript and gRPC server setup. To get started, we must initialize our TypeScript project. Once initialized, we can install the gRPC tooling required to generate the JavaScript and TypeScript code from our protocol buffers. I will go into more detail about this when we create the build script. Now we can create our protocol buffers. In our example, we'll be creating a package about users. There will be a total of three endpoints, one for getting users, creating users, and streaming all available users. We can now create our build script, which will point to the protocol buffer directory, and the first command will generate the JavaScript code, followed by a second command, which will create the TypeScript typings. We can call the script by adding it to the package JSON file. I'm also going to add in the code to run the server and client since we're already in this file. Now if we run yarn build, you can see that it generates all the required JavaScript and TypeScript files. Let's start creating the server. I'm going to create a DB file which will contain all the current users. I'm going to create a simple wrapper that will convert an object into a user class object that is required by gRPC. Finally, we can begin implementing the gRPC services. In the getUser method, we're simply going to find the user based on the ID and return it. If the user is not found, we will throw a simple error. Next, we'll create the getUsers function. It will write all the users to the stream passed in as the argument. Finally, we'll create the createUsers function. It will listen for users and then push them onto the user array that we have previously created. I've also decided that we'll create a little counter so we can see how many users is created in one stream. Finally, we can initialize our server and allow it to run on port 300. This is where the gRPC server will be accessible and our client must point to this IP address. Now we can start creating the client. We'll create a function for each of the user service endpoints. First, I'll start by creating a utilities class that will contain the connection to the gRPC server. The getUser function will accept an ID and return a promise that contains the user returned from the server. The allUsers function will listen to data, push to the client from the server, create an array, and return that array once the stream has finished. The createNewUsers function will accept an array of users, create a stream connection to the backend, and write each user to that stream. Now we can call each of the functions with sample static data. We will get a user with the ID 1, then create a simple user called Jim, and then stream all users available to console.log. Let's see how it runs. We can start the backend using the yarn server command we created earlier in the package.json. Similarly, we can run the client with yarn client. As you can see, it printed out user1, Teddy, created Jimmy, and then listed all current users available. If you guys enjoy this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.